Hello ladies and gentlemen, Foxtrot here. So I was just, uh, I've been getting a lot of questions on my stream about how I stream, how to set up a stream, and things like that. So today I'm going to show you guys in OBS Studio, which is a little bit different from regular OBS, um, how I stream. And I use Streamlabs OBS, so you won't see any of what I do. But I used to use uh, OBS Studio. Streamlabs is just a little different. It does basically all the same stuff this does, just a little better and a few more integration stuff. So the first thing we're gonna go over is what a scene and a source is. So a scene, it holds a bunch of sources. So one source can be like an audio input capture, all these different things. So let's say I wanted to get a video device. So let's, a video capture device is like a webcam. So there's it trying to get my virtual webcam. And this is my regular webcam, hello. So first thing you wanna do is go to as high a resolution as you can get while it still looks decent. Because if I go any higher, it gets all choppy. I'll show you guys what that looks like. It gets really, really choppy really quick. And I'm not sure why, but it does because this webcam doesn't like to go that high apparently. So, um, the next thing I want to show you guys is how to move around stuff. Um, so, let's say we wanted to get like a game in this in this um, scene as well. So let's do our game. We'll just call it game. And then we're really gonna look for um, capture specific window is one thing you're gonna wanna do. Otherwise it'll capture any full screen application, period. So it'll capture probably something you don't want. So what I've got in the background right now is I've got this game called Beep. So it should find it. There it found it. Yep, as you see it found the game. So one thing you can do is you can, uh, I'm gonna lock the game, so that makes it to where normally I could move around the game, and as you see, I was behind there. We'll discuss why that was in a minute. So I'm gonna lock the game, and then I'm gonna move the webcam above the game. That puts me on the top. So the higher it is, the more closer to the front it is on the list right here, right here, this list. So I'm going to then shrink me down. So there I go, I'm getting shrunk. We're going down here, and then I'm gonna lock that. So locking these things causes them to not be able to be moved anymore. So I, I'm clicking, dragging, clicking, dragging. None of those things can be moved. If I unlock it, I can move it again. So I can move myself anywhere I want, and then we can unlock it. Um, so there's a few other source types that you may need to do with. So there's a display capture, which is Let's say if you, your game doesn't play nice with the game capture, you would do game display capture, which will capture your whole monitor, which is what I'm doing on Streamlabs OBS right now. So I have a list over here on my third monitor. Yes, I have three monitors. On my third monitor to make sure that I am doing the right thing. I am doing like the things I wanna do for this tutorial. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a display capture up and it may look weird for a minute. So right now I've got to switch the display to the first display or display one. So there we can now see my other monitor, everything happening on it. There's my background, there's my discord and so on. So we're gonna go ahead and get rid of display capture now. So we're gonna remove that. A few things you can do with these sources is say like if you wanted to, if this was the wrong size for some reason, if the uh, game for some reason was like this size or, or rather yeah it was like that size so you wanted to stretch it you can do one of two things if it's the right aspect ratio of your stream which we'll go over how to get to that or later you can stretch it with these little corner bits right here these corner circles so you can stretch it and there it goes and it should snap to the edges of the screen like this edge right here this edge it should like just stick there and then once you go further it'll like jut out so it should snap there um so another thing you can do is say if it was the wrong aspect ratio and you needed it to, um, so one thing you can do, I'll show you this first. If, if it's the wrong aspect ratio, you can do it this way. You can hold shift and then slide it and you can stretch it. You can stretch it through certain ways, like on all the axes instead of keeping the aspect ratio. So obviously it can go really free form here. And now that I've got it at this really weird aspect ratio, I want to fit it to the whole screen. So to do that, we're going to go to fit to screen 
or stretch to screen. If it's the wrong aspect ratio, you want to do stretch to screen. That's most of the time what you're going to want. Um, fit to screen, if it's the same aspect ratio, these will do the same thing. Um, we can also do center to screen, which will center what the current size is, but put it in the very center of the screen. So we're going to see what fit to screen does, and that fit it to the entire screen. Since it's the correct aspect ratio, it's going to fit properly. Set stretch to screen is going to do the same thing because it's the right aspect ratio. So another thing we can do is I'm going to go over chroma keys. That does get a little complicated. So right now we're going to go to our filters on our webcam. You'll see I have this little thing right here, this new window. So we're going, that's audio and video filters. That's what we want. Pretty sure, nope, that's not what we want actually. We want a chroma key. So we're going to call this chroma key. And then we've got green. What I often do is I turn off all color spill reduction and all smoothness and then try to get it as close as I can. Select color, here we go. So you can pick a screen color and you can pick the color on here. This is one of the reasons I like OBS Studio. You can't do this on OBS, where you can actually pick the color. I could pick my skin as the color. So I'm gonna pick the color and it's gonna look weird for a minute because it's really high on the, well actually I'll fix that first. So we're gonna cancel. We're gonna select the color. Then you click pick screen color over here and pick somewhere that's kind of dark, but not terribly dark. So like maybe around here on my green screen, if you have a green screen or you're trying to make that effect happen. So then we're just gonna keep going up until we get the whole green screen gone. And this is the preview of my webcam. This part is my preview of my webcam. And the, this is obviously the preview of my stream. Sometimes you may need two chroma keys, as you see I didn't pick the best color. So I'm going to go ahead and get another chroma key going, and I'll pick it over, oh whoops, that's the same name, we'll call it chroma key 2, that'll work. So we'll turn those both down, go to custom, select color, pick screen color, and we'll pick one up there somewhere. And it's going to look weird for a minute, because it's all the way at 400 similarity. So we're going to go ahead and pull that up, and you'll notice it's going to start taking off my shoulder over here, probably and maybe my eyes, because my eyes are kind of greenish. You want to basically get everything you don't want to see gone, and that basically makes it transparent. So as you see, my stream looks like this. Looks pretty good. It's getting a little bit of my chair, as you see right here, the chair, it's catching a little bit up. So you could turn it down if you like, and for some reason, and I don't know how exactly this works, but apparently the order of the chroma key matters. I'm not certain exactly how that works. So that's that's pretty decent. I would turn down the chroma key too, just so we don't get too much of my shirt going. So we'll leave that at 100. That looks pretty good. See, we're looking okay already. Oh, looks like it got some of the blue on this fox's shirt. So the next thing we're going to go over is audio. So as you see, you can see the desktop audio being going up and down right here. You can change the device by going to properties, and right now I believe I'm using my earphones, which is my Corsair Void RGB USB headset. I would recommend using use device timestamps because otherwise you'll get some desync stuff where it'll be like, you'll hear something at a certain time, but the stream will see it or hear it at a different time. I think that's how that works, pretty sure. And um, on, on Streamlabs OBS, it's gonna look a little different, um, but that's basically the idea. And one of the filters that is really good to do, so we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and set up my microphone. So we're gonna do this, my microphone, which is my, there we go. So now you can see my microphone when I'm talking, the bottom set, here we go. So um, when it stays up here, that means that was the peak you hit in that area. So you wanna peak in somewhere in like minus 15, like somewhere in the center of the yellow preferably. But if you get into red, it's not a big deal. I try to get in the low ends of the red, so it's it's still loud, but not deathly loud. If you start getting to like closer to zero, that gets ridiculously loud, and it starts hurting the ears of your audience. So one of my favorite things to do about this, oh, not properties, we wanted filters. So you could get a noise gate. Noise gate is awesome. So what you can do is you can test this on Discord. So I'll pull my Discord over and show you guys how to test this on your Discord. So you can pull your Discord over, and then you can check your input sensitivity and make sure that when you're talking, and talk kind of quietly, so every time 
that you talk quietly, it goes over this little thing. You want to find that number. So like, say if, say if my number was 75 for simplicity's sake. Um, negative 75. Oh, whoops, somehow Steam opened up. Um, so we're going to make the open and close threshold negative 75. And what I often do is I'll leave the attack time at zero, not sure what that is, and the release time at zero, and leave the hold time at 200 milliseconds. That is a great way to... So if you're not talking, or no sounds coming through your microphone, it'll literally not emit your microphone at all, as long as it's lower than negative 75 decibels, or however exactly that works. I don't know why the number is negative, but... Anyways, so that's a really great way to get your mic set up, and so if you're, uh... If you've got a lot of fuzz in the background, that's a great way to, to eliminate the fuzz. Um, so that will eliminate the fuzz strictly because the fuzz is at a certain volume and your, your voice is preferably at a higher volume. Otherwise, you probably will need a better quality microphone with that after if, the, if they're about the same volume. So, so the next thing we're going to go over is settings in OBS. So there's a lot to see here. This is all settings on how the uh, how your whatchamacallit, your client works, how your actual OBS looks and runs like such. So you're going to want, if you're going to stream to Twitch like I do, you're going to want to just do streaming service Twitch and find your nearest like area. So say if I was in Texas, I'd probably want Dallas, Texas. If I was in Wyoming, I'd probably want Colorado. If I was maybe Utah, if I, or there's two Texas ones, there's a lot in the U.S. You guys might be able to hear that siren in the background, don't worry about it. Um, so this, this is a lot. This part right here is a lot. It can be very confusing. So my recommendation is leave it at simple. So before we get to this, I want to show you guys one thing. Or, uh, two things, actually. So we're going to go over to my Firefox tab. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to speedtest.net. And then we're going to wait for it to find a server. Um, so it'll, once it's found a server, it'll have the change server button. So when it's got that, press go. And then it'll tell you your internet speed and your ping. Your ping is how many milliseconds it takes for your your computer to respond to the, serv to the server, basically. So as you see, I have some really good internet. That's megabits per second. That is not megabytes per second. There is a eight degree difference. So eight megabits equals one megabyte, just so you know. Oh my gosh, why is it so laggy? It looks very laggy. So what you're looking for, for the most part with streaming, is your upload speed, which is the second thing that will be tested. Funny enough, my upload speed is better than my download speed, which is very infrequent to happen. So you're going to want to keep this number in mind. Go away. You're going to want to keep this number in mind. 117 millibits per second. Megabits per second, not milli. Megabits per second. So we're going to go ahead and close that, and we're just going to keep this number in mind, 117. So that's my maximum amount that I can stream at, like, that I'll need. Um, that's my maximum upload speed. And so this is a little live streaming calculator that I have found very helpful in the past. You're only going to change a few of these numbers. Um, you're, not, you're definitely not going to change this number. This number you will never, ever pretty much change. That number you can change if you like. But for now, I, I stream at 720p, so that would be 1280 by 720. That's how many I can, and I can show you guys where you can find that. You can go into your settings, stream, no, it's going to be video. So 720p is exactly that. So I'll show you guys this later on. But So that's that resolution I'll be streaming at. At 30 frames a second, we don't change this number. That's the video bit rate. And then say if I had a 96 audio bit rate, this would be what my stream bitrate would be. So that's the number we want exactly. In fact, I would go a little bit higher than that, maybe 3,000. Just a little bit, not terribly. But this is the internet you're going to need. You're going to need 3.56576 megabits. The small b means megabits per second. And I have 117, so that's definitely going to work for me. Absolutely going to work. I would recommend having probably maybe double or at least one and a half times this number for your upload speed. Otherwise, you may have to stream at a lower quality so you can play with these numbers and try different things. Um, 
if you uh, if this end number ends up being too high for your internet plan or you could just upgrade your internet as well so the next thing we're gonna look at is this so the canvas resolution I would recommend leaving it at either this or 1080p so the bottom one or the top one these are my other two monitor ratios and they are very strange they're not like standard aspect ratios I, unless you're streaming at, I, most people only stream at 30 FPS or 60 FPS, so I would leave that as one of those two. And downscaling, I'd just leave that as bi-cubic. Unless, unless your computer's having issues, then you could go to bi-linear, but it, it might look a little blurry, as it said. So what this out output scaled resolution does, uh, so like, when it says 1080 is the canvas resolution, so that's what this is. That's what this looks like to me. But what I will stream will be 720. So the game, like say if I, hmm, how do I explain this? So this will actually be downscaled a little bit. It'll, this will be a little more pixely looking than it is now. We're gonna turn the music down because that is a little louder than I'd like it to be. There we go, all right, cool. So um, I would not go Far, like say if you're streaming at um, 720, if you have a base canvas of 720, I would only go like 480p diff, uh, down on the output scaled resolution. You don't want to go super far distant from that, so you wouldn't do like anything like that. That would look horrible. It would absolutely look really horrible. So you want to go not very far from that. What well, not very far from your top one from here. So audio. That's pretty self-explanatory if you know your audio stuff. I tried doing 7.1 and just streamed a couple of days ago on 7.1 and it sounded awful. I don't know why it sounded awful, but it sounded okay to me. But it, it just didn't sound good on the stream itself and I don't know what caused that. So I would recommend against that strictly because of my experience on it. If you know a way of going about it, please leave it in the comments. I would appreciate that. Um, so right now, this is my, de you can leave it as default and default if you want. So this is gonna be like your mic. So my mic is right there. My, so that's both my headset. As you see, they're the same device, just earphone, microphone. So this is like, if you wanted to do your, if you wanted to do push to talk on your stream, that would be, so that would be your push to talk. And you would go into hotkeys to figure that out. Now for output, this is where we're gonna put our bit rate, which was that thing we had earlier, which was, I said, 3000. I would leave it at simple because advanced gets really complicated really fast. Some people prefer INVEC over X264. I'm not sure what the main difference there is. It has to do with the encoding, as it says, encoder. So I have yet to see much of a difference. I think one might be more optimized than another. And I also had that at 96 when I calculated that. Another thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go here um, into browse for recording. So this is like we're going to test a recording video. We're going to record our video and just test it. We're going to test our video and test the stream, which I do almost every time before I stream. Sometimes I won't and I'll regret it sometimes. So I would recommend that before every stream, you do like a one or two minute test video with audio and everything. Audio from everything you want to get audio from. So I have my stuff heavily sorted. So I'm going to go into video stuff and stream test viz. I'll select that folder. That's exactly where my um, recording path will go. Um, so you're gonna wanna do, you don't wanna do lossless. Lossless will create these fucking huge um, videos and they will be just ginormous sized videos. You're gonna wanna do probably same as stream so you can, and leave it as an MP4. Do not do FLV. I don't even know of almost any video programs that can open an FLV. So you're going to want to do MP4. It's going to give you this resolution thing and stuff like that. So we're going to test our stream. So what I'm going to do is I, I muted beep. So I'm going to close the uh, the game beep. I'm going to unmute beep. Oh god, that's kind of loud. I'm going to go over to my virtual audio cable to turn that down. All right, there we go. Now it's a little bit quieter. So if, if your desktop audio ends up being too loud, or if your mic ends up being too loud, um, you could always turn this down. So as you see, I'm going down on this level. You still hear me because I'm recording it on another version of OBS over there. So I'm gonna turn my mic back up and turn these back down. 
you want to if you want your mic to be louder like me I like my light mic to be louder than the video itself so I you want to look at these levels so you want to kind of equalize them the way you want equalizing means audio ways of saying you want them to be equal to a certain extent in a certain way so I like my mic as you see it's going quite a bit higher than the sound itself so now we can uh, we can load a game and you're only seeing my um, what I'm seeing so but when you press say start recording we're gonna start recording a video and that is gonna be my test video and we're gonna listen to it and watch it and make sure it's all good and everything so we're gonna we're just gonna do a little bit of playing around here maybe spinning in circles and shit so now that's probably a good enough test for me at least we're gonna quit exit beep yes now we're going to go to where I saved the folder, which was stream test vids for me. And then it's going to be, I believe, yeah, that one, that's gotta be it. So where the heck did it go? It went on the other monitor. I gotta drag it down here, here we go. So it's not gonna, you're not gonna hear it because I have my audio set a certain way. So I've gotta fix my audio real quick. Now we're gonna hear it, preferably. That's the wrong video. So it should be, which one was it? Oh, I forgot to press stop recording. That would be why it didn't. So it was still writing the file. So it's this one right here. That would be why. Okay. We're gonna start recording a video. So this and is, you saw, is you, I recorded myself recording this video. To it and watch it and make sure it's all good and everything. So we're gonna, we're just gonna do a little bit of playing around here, maybe spinning. So what you wanna look for in your test video is you wanna look for, say like if there's any visual issues, if there's any things you wanna change, of course, about your layout of your stream, if there's um, any audio issues, you'll, it'll be very clear because that's exactly what your viewers are gonna get. One more thing. So um, before we conclude here, I'm gonna show you guys how to get to your Twitch um, stream key. So I will show you guys how to get to that. So Twitch stream key. So we're just gonna Google that and this will be where your Twitch stream key is. You can, you can look at it or you can do this and you can copy. And I don't think if you click copy, it'll show it to everyone. And you can click show and then you can highlight it and paste it like you can highlight it. I don't wanna show you guys because then someone will stream under my name and that's not good. So because then anyone can stream. So don't share your stream key with anyone unless you really, 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 really trust them. So I've shared stream keys with people and we did okay, we did fine, but we were great friends, so. Anyway, so I think that'll be it for now. If you guys have any questions, please do ask in the comments and let me know if this tutorial was sufficient for what you needed help with. I will be glad to do a follow-up video. If anyone's got any more questions on how to do anything, um, so I guess I'll see you guys later.